This is the video that you all have been waiting for. The haul from my Alabama Orchid Show and Sale. Stay tuned. Okay, so up uh, first, Val Pals, I purchased me some beautiful air plants. <laughs> Yes, beautiful, beautiful air plants. Now, guys, I don't know if this would be considered a orchid or not, but it is something that you guys don't have to do a lot to care for. You just pretty much just let them be. And, honey, I don't see any roots or anything. So, you soak them fully and completely. That information was given to me from my foul pals on Facebook, honey, Anna. The Swedish Hoarder. Check her out. Such a lovely woman from Sweden. Now, this one right here, I believe it will bloom as well. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not familiar with these air plants, but I love them. I love the texture of it. Um, they don't have a smell. Like I said, they don't need a lot of care, so it gives me time to focus on my Phalaenopsis forcus that I hold dear. Stay tuned. Up next, of course, honey, you know Mama Wit on a mission, honey, and she had to get her a mini, okay? Now, Fal Pals, I will leave a small clip letting you guys know what this looks like in bloom from the Alabama Orchid Show and Sale. Now, the name of this is White okay <laughs> yes but it's very beautiful and um i'm going to mount her you guys have to stay tuned to my next video which is going to be my orchid supplies for the fall season but this is such a beautiful beautiful phalaenopsis um of course when i got her like this it was very cheaper than getting her in bloom what is so crazy is they actually had one that had a keiki and a kiki and was in bloom. But because I am an experienced grower now, I know not to get that because it's a sign of sickness. And this is a healthy orchid that just needs patience and it will definitely bloom. Already new root tip, new root tips in my care. And I have had this phalaenopsis uh, mini for a couple of weeks now um, before I made this video. And after I mount her, she is going to finally get the care and the nutrients that she deserves. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so up next, darling, you will not guess it, honey. You will not guess it at all. But yes, honey, mama got another dendrobium. <laughs> now, guys, I had to get this because um, first and foremost, I've never seen a dendrobium like this. And second of all, you guys know that my dendrobiums outside are, they are just relentless and growing. They will not die at all. So I was like, well, obviously dendrobiums would be an orchid that I don't have to worry about dying on me once I get it home. And um, I will leave a video at the end of this clip to let you know what it looks like in bloom. A very exotic um, dendrobium. My fell pal Eunice probably could tell you all about this right here. It is such a fuzzy little dendrobium. Here we go. And it has such a purple tint. And, and you see that little bit down here? That's what's growing in my care. And that is what I have to look forward to. And it really is starting to grow. Um, that little bit right there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's the news too. Oh, okay. Bell Pels, how can I forget about this little darling here? Yes, baby, this is called a jewel orchid. Now, I have it in the window because, honey, when I tell you she would do some shimmer and shine for you like you have never seen before, it's as if you can see gold specks inside of the leaves. 
orchid. I thought it was just a plant that they called um, orchid. This is the name. I'm doing real good with these names. Now, if you know what that is, good for you. For everybody else, orchids for dummies, this is called a jewel orchid. I saw them coming in two colors. This was my favorite color because that gold, honey, you just could not beat it. I really wish that you guys could see it, but I don't know anything about it, so maybe the shimmer and shine is over with. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure how to care for it. So if you have any advice about maintaining my jewel orchid, leave advice in the comment box below. Now we are bringing it to an end. I'm sorry the bl blooms, um, it seemed as if it got a little bit blasted. I asked the people at the um, orchid meeting, should I bring it outside? Because it was indoors. But um, they said to bring it outside and the sun has um, burned the blooms but the blooms are very beautiful and the smell is absolutely to die for. It smells like baby powder. If you want to know the name, this is the name. We're gonna call it Bluebird, okay? The leaves started to die back. Once I brought it outside, new growth um, blooms have bloomed. This is another orchid that I got because it was just the smell of it. I walked into the, a small room that was compacted of fragrant orchids and the smell was just to die for. Um, this is my first Ibidium. Um, you know, I don't like to deter from Phalaenopsis, but I really was captivated by the smell and the um, way that this looked so much like a house plant. I loved it. I really wanted it to complete my indoor setup. However, it is thriving outdoors and not indoors. The wasps have taken a hold of it as well. Um, I actually believe they might have pollinated, um, pollinated it because um, you see the leaves or the petals have now closed in. But the wasps have definitely taken claim to my beautiful Sibidium orchid. Now, fam pals, I thank you so much for staying tuned. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the people's channel. Orchids for dummies. Fam pals, up next, honey, is an orchid that is a testimony. I went into the Alabama Orchid Show with um, not an expectation, but simply I had asked God, I was like, God, please let someone bless me with an orchid because I love orchids. And so what I... What happened was, I was blessed with this. Um, I can't remember the name of this plant, but it won third place in the Alabama Orchid Show. It is, um, these are kikis, and all I have to do is pot them up. They have been here for quite some time, so they might not make it. I had one to actually break off, honey. I'm so sorry. But um, what I will tell you is, um, it was a guy that was a grower at the um, show and seal that was giving away those um, Bellinia orchids, those beautiful Phalaenopsis orchids with the one beautiful bloom. He was giving them away to everyone that was working the show and I'm like, oh my God, I didn't get one, I didn't get one. So I'm walking around with this negative attitude on the way home like, everybody got an orchid but me and I'm the one that went with the a spirit of the Lord, let me get an orchid. And then I thought about it, I was like, this is an orchid. And not only was it one Kiki, but it was several. And it placed third place in the show. And I thought about my life as a reflection. How often God blessed me with things that I've prayed for. And yet when he gave it to me, because He it didn't come in the form that another person got it in. I automatically assumed that my prayers were not answered. So that is a really good lesson that I learned from these orchids yet again. With that being said, until next time.